So welcome back to Innovation. Today, what we're gonna do is add in three buttons that allow us to change the pitch. The way pitch works is for every unit of 10, we change the pitch by half a note. So if we are at a pitch of C and we increase by 10, we go to C sharp. That means all of the C's become C sharps. And if we went by 20, then all of the C's would become D's. So we go up everything a note. And sometimes that's useful in songs to be able to change pitch and kind of make it sound lower or higher, makes it easier to sing with for certain people if they use a different pitch. So here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in three buttons. So I'm gonna hit the search for a Sprite magnifying glass, and I'm gonna search for a button. Uh, you can choose any one of the buttons you want, but I think I'm gonna choose this one because I think it fits well, and it also has a nice ability to change the costume. I'm gonna put it down here, and I'm gonna make another one. And finally, I'm gonna make a third one. So I want three buttons. Position them nice and close to each other. And if I wanted to, I could just duplicate this one, make it a little bit faster. And there's button four. There we go. So there's all three buttons. Now my radio is a little bit in the way, so I'm gonna move it over a little bit and set everything up and make it look nice. Let's hit stop because we don't need it to play. Okay. So now I'm gonna go through and change the look of my buttons a little bit just to say what they do. So for each button, I'm gonna put on the button what it's going to do. So I'm gonna click on costume and I wanna type some text. I'm gonna click here and I want this one to go up. Oh, I don't want purple. I wanna change this to black. So I'm gonna change the fill to a black and there we go. And now it says up. Now I also wanna line this up with the center of the button. So if I move this, I can see, whoops, wrong one. If I click on the up, I can see it gets a box around it and I can move it around until it's lined up with the center of the box and the center of the word up. Next, I'm gonna to go to the other button, but before I do, I wanna change, look at the costume here, because I wanna add an animation in later. And I'm gonna click on the word up, hit control copy, then click on the other button, hit V, control V, and it pastes the word in the other color, making sure I go back to the blue for my default color. So I'm gonna click on the next button. We're gonna do something very similar. I'm going to put in the down message, D-O-W-N, and again, I'm gonna center that right there. Do the same thing where I copy it, go to here, paste it, and now I have the word down in the right spot, making sure I change the costume back to the blue one. Finally, the last button, I need a reset. So I'm gonna hit my text, type in, re oh, make sure my fill is black. I don't know why that switched. Click on my fill of reset, drag this down to the right place so it lines up with the center copy it, go to my other color, paste it, and make sure I go back to blue. So now I have up, down, and reset. Perfect. Now on my up button, the code I want, so I'm gonna click on the code, is an event when the sprite is clicked. I'm gonna broadcast a message, because I need to broadcast it so every instrument will shift up by that amount. So I'm gonna broadcast a new message. I'm gonna call it up pitch. And then I wanna get the effect where the button changes color. So I'm just going to switch the costume from the current costume. So it's got two costumes, A and B. Oh, I'm on the wrong button. Let, let me put this onto the up button. This is on the reset. So let me do this again. Fortunately, I can just copy this code over. Let me just connect this copy this code over to the up button. So remember how we did that? We just drag it over. There we go. Now it's on the up button. So I'm gonna switch my costume from A to B. So we're gonna start on A. 
which means we want to switch to B and then switch to A. So it should look like this. And then what we want to do is not a next custom. We want an, a weight to put in there. And we'll put in 0.25. So that way we can see the button actually switch. So there we go. So we click the sprite. We can now see it looks like the button goes up and down. We're going to do the same thing with the down button. So we could copy all this code to the down button and then just change the broadcast message. The down button. So I'm going to click on that. And it has the same costumes. So that's fortunate for us. We're going to go broadcast new message and say down pitch. There we go. And then finally reset is going to be the same thing. So we'll build this again, looks, put it our weight in, point two five, and broadcast a new message, reset. So now we have our three buttons created. When we click reset, it changes color. When I click down, it changes color. When I click up, it changes color and does our broadcast. So now we got to go to each of our instruments and tell them what to do when they receive that message. So let's start with our keyboard. So when the keyboard receives each of the three messages, we're going to change the pitch. So when I receive up pitch, when I receive down pitch, and when I receive reset. If I can reach it. There we go. Up pitch, down pitch, and reset. So we're going to go into sound and we're going to change the pitch by 10 when I receive up pitch. We're going to change the pitch by negative 10 when I receive down pitch. And the last one is we're going to set the pitch effect to zero when I receive reset. Now I want to do the same thing on the saxophone and trumpet. So all I have to do is drag the code and make copies. Put it on the saxophone, the first one, the second one, and the third one. Then I'm going to put it on the trumpet. The first one, the second one, and the third one. So let's make sure it's there. They kind of put them in weird spots. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third one. Let's look at the trumpet. There's, if we hit this button, it organizes the code for us. And we can kind of see a little bit better. Whoops. There's the first one, let me make this bigger. Second one, and third one. So I have all three on that one. Okay, so I think I deleted two of them, but we can put them back in there real quick. Up pitch, I need down pitch and reset. There we go. Up pitch, down pitch, reset. So now let's give this a try. So I'm gonna click on my keyboard. I think we're gonna play our song like we did before. Click on my radio. right back. So we use the up and down pitch, we can shift the pitch of our song. That is our entire project. We now have our soundboard, we can play our songs, we can play any note we want. So if I just press the S, I can still play the notes that I wanted to. K, still play the notes that I wanted to. I can shift the pitch on the notes and play the individual notes. up pitch. So I have full control of our sound machine. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.